the early bird catches the worm. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, and our idiom, our proverb today is the early bird catches the worm. Now, this is one of those idioms that is from the 1600s, 1605. It was actually published in a book of Proverbs by William Camden, a very famous book of Proverbs in the English language. And it means, of course, that, and it comes from uh, birds migrating and the birds that left early would get to their destination sooner. And so there would be more food and more worms and more uh, resources available to them. And it came to mean, you know, set, out early start early don't procrastinate go after what you want right away or guess what somebody else is going to swoop in and get the thing that you want think uh i think about uh going for different jobs or for different positions or different uh tasks in different organizations if you hold off and wait to let people know that you're interested in something you might miss out on the opportunity uh, I used to always show up really, really early for, I mean, I haven't done them all last year and part of this year, uh, in-person live events. So conferences or events or uh, concerts or anything, I would always show up way early. I'd get to the door, you know, an hour or two hours, depending on the crowd, before the event doors opened. And I'd stand in line and network and get to know people and find out why they were there and what was what they were looking to learn from the particular seminar or, or event and get in so that I could get a good seat right in the front, right? I was always that sit in the front kind of gal whenever possible because partly because I have terrible eyesight and if I didn't sit in the front, I couldn't see anything and I missed out on part of the experience, but partly because I learned in school that when you sit in the front, when you show up, you get more of the professors and the teachers or the lecturers attention. They, they actually see you. If there's a hundred rows deep and you're in the front three, you're probably going to get seen. If you're in 97 or 56, you're probably not going to be seen. So the early bird gets the better opportunities. Now, I have to make a comment here. There's always going to be another opportunity. Uh, if you miss this opportunity, guess what? Life isn't over. It isn't the end of the world. Another opportunity will come your way. It just meant you weren't ready or committed enough to go after that particular opportunity with enough energy and speed to actually be the one that, that got that opportunity. But it doesn't mean that there isn't going to be another one that comes along. I actually talked about this same idiom, geez, 500 and, about 550 days ago when I first started doing idioms. I think it was about the 149th one I did. Actually, April 22nd, 2019, you can go to uh, Facebook or YouTube or, or anywhere in Google and find that particular episode. I think my hair is a lot longer. I was pajama grandma showing up in my pajamas and talking about different uh, idioms and expressions and business tactics and, and tips and tricks and hacks and things like that. So the early bird gets a worm. What does that mean for us in growing and building our businesses? It means that the person that acts first, the first, and I did some research on this, the first person in a particular market or niche or specific product or service tends to immediately garner about 70% of the market share. And then everybody else that comes into the market after them ends up fighting over the 30% because once you're there first, you get a foothold in the business. You get speed of, of um, showing up first and you've, you've always got an extra head start because you got there first. And it's hard to make up for that. But within that particular market, you can carve out your own specific niche and create your own thing and be the first at that and get 70% or more of that particular market, if not that entire market niche part of that market uh, working every day how do we how do we make sure that we're the early bird you know there's a lot of talk about morning routines these days now i personally am an, a morning person been a morning person my entire life so morning routines make sense for me but for a lot of people that aren't morning people it's just about the routine and the ritual and the practice and the action taking and the mindset it's more about that than the actual morning. A lot of people teach, you know, atomic mornings and how to get up, how to get out of bed, learn my morning routine. And I, I love sharing my morning routine with people, but it's taken me a couple of decades to create the morning routine that works for me. And guess what? COVID blew that all up and I had to change my morning routine. And we're always changing and growing and evolving and figuring out what works for us. So, yep, early bird catch the worm. I used to go into work, what, my last corporate job, I would go into work. I'd get up at three. I'd be to work by four. So I'd miss all the traffic for a couple of reasons. One, so I'd miss all the traffic. 
too, so I could interact with all three shifts. I actually had three different shifts of people that reported to me. So in order to actually see them, pay attention to them, give them some time and energy and interact with them and know what was really going on in my departments instead of just guessing or interpreting through notes and memos and, and journals and log books, I actually spent time with my people. And it meant I would have only to spend one drive, one commute in bumper-to-bumper <laughs> -bumper traffic because that's what it was like when I worked in, in Minnesota and drove to Wisconsin every day. So I actually found that by going in early like that, not only did I get to interact and communicate with my folks, but I also got more done in those morning segments before 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock when the vast majority of people came into work because there were no interruptions. And when you're not interrupted, you can get a lot more done when you have a nice solid block of time to work on things and do things and move projects ahead. So I found that it was, I got a lot more done. And so it made my job and my life so much easier just by going in before other people. You can do the same thing by staying late. If you're not a morning person, you have to do what works for you. So you wanna have a plan, you wanna know what you're going after and you wanna work at it every single day, not procrastinating, not second guessing, not, not thinking that it's always going to be perfect the first time. You go, you take action, you test, you tweak, you do it again. Keep moving toward what it is that you want to achieve every day. So I'd love to know your expression, your, your expression, your experience with this expression, the early bird catches a worm. Have you heard it? Have you said it? Has anyone ever said it to you? I heard it a lot in my corporate career. I heard it a lot in my businesses. It would annoy some people that I would be in early and before anybody else, but that's what worked for me. And I always would tell them, hey, this is what works for me and my lifestyle and raising my kids and making sure I can be home, you know, pretty soon after the bus brings them home every day, things like that. So we do it. We got to do what works for us. All right. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your life right now?